high earth energies taurus virgo capricorn ascendant sun moon venus rising and those cross watching welcome to your tarot love messages today we're going to take a look at and see what is going on in this connection so we want to try and get to the truth of this connection we want to see how your romantic energy is feeling what are they thinking what is it that you should know does this have staying power or does it not it is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. There's also going to be a part two to this reading, and that's going to be made via the extension link below. And in part two of this reading, we're going to dive deeper into the messages. Okay, so we'll see what the cards say for us in part one, and we'll delve a little bit deeper into the messages. So a little bit more detail in part two. With all of that being said, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. Also, just quickly reminding you guys, for those of you interested in a personalized reading with myself, I do offer um, personal readings, so please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email will be listed just below the video here, also where that show more section is. Alrighty, so let's begin here. Eight of Cups here has made quite an appearance in the other spreads too. So there's a lot of uncertainty from what I can see. There's a lot of confusion here. Um, there could be some... It, to me, it feels like some things, things aren't exactly what they seem. The With the Moon card, there's a lot of similar imagery happening in this card. And there's a very strong sense of duality. There's a lot of inconsistencies in the energies here from what I'm picking up. Your person may be really on and off. They may come on very strong, very hot and cold here. Um, they could at times also pull back. Okay, so this could also be someone who's a fluctuating presence in your life. They may be juggling between two different romantic prospects two different romantic energies, or this could be you juggling between two very different romantic energies here. Just going back to the moon card here, with it's really, because of the similar imagery in the card here, it can be really hard to decipher what exactly is going on. Okay, you've got the sun that engulfs the moon, or the moon engulfing the sun here. You've got the wild dog, the tame dog, the two different pillars here. So there's a lot happening, and I feel like only half of what you're seeing right now is being illuminated. You're being possibly kept in the dark about a situation. Maybe you're choosing not to see something that is really there here. Um, it does, to me, the river, the nearby river here does represent an awareness, okay? And it does feel like it hasn't been a necessarily an easy journey between you and the, this romantic energy here. The Eight of Cups, sorry, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of rejection. It can be abandonment, okay? So someone may have rejection or abandonment issues here, or someone may be feeling compelled to walk away from a situation that in which they're not, you know, it's a sense of loss and it's a sense of disappointment. Notice this such figure in the uh, the cloaked figure has this slouched body language representing his disappointment here. Um, he shuffles away into the mountains here. You've got the moon that's appeared twice here and I feel like the moon here, the moon's light is trying to illuminate either the path ahead for you or it's trying to illuminate and bring something out of the darkness, okay? So maybe there are red flags in this connection that you're choosing not to see. Um, maybe you're looking at a situation and you're seeing what you want to see instead of what's really right, like what's really there. I feel like you've invested yourself emotionally a lot into this connection, 
but to me it feels like despite someone's best efforts they're not necessarily getting an idyllic um, scene okay they're not getting the results here that they expected so something he hasn't gone the way that you expected it to be um, you're realizing that you're not getting a lot from this person or you're realizing that you're not getting a lot of out of this situation here the eight of cups to me is definitely um, a signal that something is missing or you sense that something is missing particularly on an emotional or a spiritual level okay and I feel like it could be telling you that instead of just wait sitting around and waiting for things to get better and waiting for things to improve you might need to leave a dissatisfying or an unfulfilling situation it may not necessarily make sense to you or it may not make sense to other people but it feels like it's time to if something is not serving you okay if something doesn't feel right and if something doesn't feel healthy um, it's it may be time for you to let go of a situation here you could be trying to escape some sort of problematic emotional situation here or avoiding some sort of emotional situation or even like a really deep rooted psychological issue or concern here you could be trying to pretend as if there, the problems in the relationship or the problems with this connection do not exist and therefore maybe that deception okay that similar imagery that the moon he provides which can be a little bit deceiving here lies within you maybe you're repressing your emotions or you're refusing to have a certain conversation with a person in which you know that there are issues here that need to be addressed. You feel as though something is missing, or perhaps it's your person. Maybe this is that how your person is feeling. They sense that something is missing. They sense that um, they're not emotionally fulfilled or satisfied in this connection. They could also have emotional issues that are very real and present in their life, but they're not dealing with it, and in turn it's impacting the relationship. But I feel like instead of having a conversation with you they're kind of repressing their emotions and they're refusing to have this conversation with you because they're refusing to open up with you know what's really happening or what's really going on with them so it's like someone i feel like is really avoiding the scene altogether you do feel a very special connection with this person they feel quite connected with you as well but i feel like to me, there's so much cycles, okay? You've got the moon that's appeared twice, and the moon is, um, it goes through periods of growth and decline here. So it goes through cycles, and it's symbolic of stages in our life. And I feel like, to me, it feels like either you're someone here is displaying very cyclical behavior, so their emotional or behavioral patterns feel very familiar to them, and they're on repeat. I don't know that they're serving their emotions or their behaviors are you know in their best interest here but i am seeing a lot of cycles i feel like you could be doing this song and dance with this person over and over again this person may be repeating certain behaviors or certain emotional patterns which look may not feel all that good but they feel familiar to them and there's a sense of comfort and familiarity i guess I feel like you're you're constantly and continuously finding yourself repeatedly in this sort of eight of cups situation where you feel like you're wanting to walk away or you want to spend some time exploring, you know, what will bring you true happiness. But I feel like you're having a hard time, okay? Because you've got this infinity loop where I feel like just as you pull away you know maybe they come back into the picture or just as you distance yourself from this person this is when they come on strong it just feels like it's it's very imbalanced it feels this connection here from what i'm seeing feels very on and off very hot and cold i'm, I'm picking up a lot of inconsistencies here okay you because of the moon's presence here you might need to check in with your intuition or your person might need to check in uh, check in with their intuition to truly understand is this a situation where you need to give it one more chance because i feel like to me something feels very crowded here is it the energies is it the emotions here i feels like there's more than two people involved in this connection to be honest with you it feels like 
maybe you're completely blissfully unaware, but I feel like maybe your person is attached to someone else or they may still have lingering emotions for someone else. And I feel like um, the moon card here is inviting for you to sort of listen to any intuitive associations or feelings that you get about this person and about the connection here. Because I do feel like the moon's light here is trying to light something up for you, okay? And there is some form of deception that I feel like is involved with this person. I feel like there is something that they're hiding from you. There's something that they're not telling you. There's something that they're keeping from you, which I feel like if you were to discover and if you were to find this out, it would either change or alter your perception of them or of this whole situation. So you absolutely deserve to know the truth. The truth doesn't have any versions. If it's being fabricated and diluted, it no longer is a truth. It's uh, an embellishment. It's a lie here. So I feel like you're, this person isn't being very honest with them, with yourself. They may not even be honest with themselves in regards to the emotions that they feel for you. So in part two, we're going to explore what exactly is a deception? Where does it lie? What are they keeping from you? And why are they keeping it from you? I've also mentioned that I'm seeing behavioral patterns that this person is engaged in. And I don't think their behavior, their behavior, uh, behavioral patterns serve them well. I feel like it is something that's a bit unhealthy. It is something that's a bit toxic. And I feel like your person needs to be able to confront their pain individually. And they need to untangle the knots on some of these issues whether they're emotional issues, psychological issues, but I feel like it, there's a lot of tension in their energies. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of confusion as well. I don't know that your person is 100% set on you and set on this connection. They feel as though there is something lacking. They feel as though maybe they want to keep their options open and you know see uh, whether they can form new connections. I'm also seeing if you're not currently in contact with this person, I feel like someone here is definitely, um, they've kind of been spying on your social media pages. I feel like this is someone who's watching your stories very closely, watching the stuff that you post. Um, there's a curiosity in their nature. I feel like they're not communicating with you, but they're sure watching your whatever it is that you're posting very closely here, your photos, your interactions here. There's definitely a curiosity What's the intention behind it? Are they trying to reconnect with you? Are they trying to revisit a connection with you? Do they want to patch things up? Do they want to choose you? Do they want to drop the third party for you? You know what's going on. All behavior is motivated and there is some intentions behind what it is that they're doing because to me it feels like they're not necessarily communicating with you or they're not communicating what they truly want to say. So in part two, we are going to explore what exactly this is because I do feel like this is something that you're probably... You do deserve to know. You're probably better off knowing. I am seeing that there is a lot of layers, a lot of complexities, intricacies to this connection. I feel like the two of you have been through a lot. I'm also seeing that this person here has self-sabotaging behavior. And I feel like sometimes they potentially have a habit of trying to ruin what could possibly be a healthy relationship just because of their fears, anxieties, and insecurities here. Okay? So um, follow me for part two of the reading if you are interested in the extension which is provided to you via the link below. For those of you interested in a personal reading, well, once again, my email is provided via the link below. Also, otherwise, I want to thank you guys for your time and your attention. Um, it is greatly appreciated. I will be sharing with you more Tara Love messages throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.